Hello and welcome to the Pro Tipster Football Show. We're back again with another combined 11. This weekend's match of the week is Manchester City. Uh, they're at home to Tottenham Hotspur. So we are picking our combined best 11 team. I'm joined by Pro Tipster Martin and Pro Tipster Dan. How's it going lads? We'll start with you, uh, Martin. How are you? Sure. Very well, Paddy, very well. Finally recovered from the Christmas party. <laughs> you got home eventually. Yes. Um, uh, Daniel, how are you? Um, not too bad, not too bad. No one's had the uh, chilli vodka martin yet. It's still no. sat on my desk. No. I've got a feeling it's going to end up being me who drinks it. Uh, chilli, it, it'll be there until next, it'll be there until the next Christmas party. Right, lads, uh, <laughs> just I'll remind uh, listeners of the rules. They're pretty simple. We pick uh, 11 players, 11 of the best players into one team and we cannot pick injured or suspended players uh, this week we've gone with uh, my suggestion of a 3-5-2 which was which ended up being a massive mistake because there are actually <laughs> only two uh, proper defenders <laughs> who are not either injured suspended or Mangala so um, we'll start off with goalkeepers lads uh, Daniel who have you gone for? Hugo Lloris Daniel or Martin I mean Hugo Lloris. Ah, so I'm the only one who's gone with with with, with Emerson then, huh? Why have you Why have you gone with Edison? I just like a man who who who's able to take balls to the track, yeah. <laughs> 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 I've, been that, wa- I've been wanting is, to get that in for two Freudian podcasts. Comment there. <laughs> 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 and, you know, it was his uh, super save against uh, against Man United. His his double save. I gone for him, and uh, I, I just I think Lloris is just just kind of boring. You know, he doesn't excite me as a man as a goalkeeper. <laughs> We're getting far too homoerotic here, aren't we? <laughs> Uh, right then, I'm outvoted here. So Hugo Lloris, there's there we're not no no you're not taking uh, Ederson at all no no chance. No, he just uh, I mean he, for me he hasn't done enough yet. I, I can't I can't look beyond Lloris um, what he's done this season and, and for Spurs um, over the years really. Ederson's come in, he's fresh, he's a good goalkeeper. Don't get me wrong, but. It's too early for me to pick him over Loris. I, I agree with Martin. I, I, I'm impressed by Edison. He's a far superior keeper to Claudio Bravo, but Loris has been doing it for a long time. He's been consistently good in the Premier League, so that's why I went with him. Fair enough. Well, I just, I suppose, <clears throat> another way of looking at it was, make myself sound intelligent now, was that going, going with a back three, I thought maybe Edison would be, would be better shout as a bit more of a sweeper, but okay, fair enough. I'm outvoted here. We'll go for. <laughs> Loris. Uh let's start with our three centre backs then. Uh Daniel, who have you gone for here? You can give us all three of them actually. Yeah, Nicholas Sotomende, um Batongan and Eric Dyer. And it was really, really tough one because there's just like like you said, there's only two fit centre backs. Company's got a hamstring injury, Stones is out till God knows when. Um Aldevar out till February. Mangala is just Mangala, <laughs> and then you, then, you, then you're down to like the the the, um, the, the Nigerian guy, uh, the English Nigerian kid whose name I can't pronounce, Adara Bayoyo. Yeah, yeah. Um, Foyth, uh, one Foyth who uh, who's just I don't know enough about him. Or the other the other one that I saw some Man City fans saying was Fernandinho. A centre back. Oh, I, I don't guess he's played there a couple of times, but. Yeah, not sure about that. Uh, like, like, yeah, imagine if it was, if the, if the combined eleven were kind of playing against each other, then you you could never have Fernandinho up against the likes of I don't know whoever we're going to pick, Jesus or Jesus Aguero or Harry Kane. You know, that's that's just that's a massacre. <laughs> yeah. You know? um, um, I have to I have to also add that Vertonghen's on four yellow cards, and if he plays tonight and gets yellow carded, he's out of the Man City game. Ah, of course. <laughs> so, but I don't, th- I don't think he'll play tonight. I honestly don't think Pochettino will risk it. I don't know. They haven't got much of a back. Like Sanchez is, well, is he still suspended? Isn't yeah, it? Sanchez so, is yeah. suspended. Yeah. Who do, who do you play if you rest a couple of players? Foyth maybe, but Foyth and uh, Foyth and Foyth and Dyer was what I was reading. Mm. But that's not a back line. That's not a back line, really, is it? No. So that's that's who we're all we've all gone for different combinations of this anyway. So Eric Dyer, yes, uh, Nicholas yes. Aramendi, and Jan Bertangen. Let's move on then to uh, our midfield. Now we've okay, so we have three. We've gone with three five two. But Martin, you've gone for the more kind of orthodox three five two. You've gone with uh, wing backs. 
Uh, I have indeed. I've gone with uh, Carl Walker on the right and Danny Rose on the left. Um, I think I think Carl Walker suits this formation, this three five two formation, because I don't think I don't think he's an out and out defender. So on the right side of a four four two, I don't think he it suits it very well. So three five two, where he's bombing on down the wing, I think he's very good down the wing, um, attacking wires and getting balls into the box. I thought he was it's very close between him and Kieran Trippier, actually. Um, Because I I, I think Kieran Trippier's had a great season. Um, But Walker, yeah, just just gets the edge for me at right back on on the right wing. Actually, Dan, you do go for the same, haven't you? (laughs) No, you're you're changing it. I can see you're changing it. I'm making a light substitution because I've just decided. (laughs) Listeners, listeners, as we're speaking, we have have a shared (laughs) combined, uh, we have a shared Google Doc. And Daniel is right now changing his mind. <laughs> yeah, I changed my mind. Martin's just convinced me. Kieran Trippier. Yeah. <laughs> and, and the reason being Trippier is having a better season, I think. Um, I think Trippier played for a long time in Carl Walker's shadow at Spurs. And this year, has, yeah, he's had to step up to the plate. And he's done so magnificently. Um, I actually think that Trippier's got more of a chance of playing um, right back for England than Walker has at the moment. I think so. Um, yeah, because he, Trippy is a better defender. It's, it, it's interesting to see how, how much he does play for the rest of the season, because obviously one person we haven't considered is Serge Aurier, and I, I thought he would have cemented that right back berth. I'm but... not convinced by Serge Aurier. No. I'm not convinced whatsoever. I think his temperament's not right. Um, it was a tough one on left back, actually, because I know Danny Rose has been injured for a while, and I don't think um, Ben Davis has been that bad. You know, no. I, I uh, I, I'm never going to go for Fabian Delph because he's a DV being a snake. <laughs> um, and and then the other option I thought was Danilo. Uh, yeah, Man- he's already done, done enough for me. I think he'll play tonight because, again, I think Man City will rotate tonight. But um, I think he'll play maybe at right back and they might even play Zinchenko at left back. Because it's only Swansea. So, you know, rest of you players. Yeah. Um, but it was that was a tough call. But I've got, I, I, I changed my mind. I've gone for Kieran Trippier. Just for the sake of controversy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I've taken a totally different approach uh, to you lads. Who's a gone with wingbacks? I, I have I have a blatant disregard for wingbacks. I, I don't get them. I don't think they're needed. Uh, in, in my team, anyway. Uh, I've gone for Fernandinho and Christian Eriksen in a, in a 3-2-3-2. Blimey. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't that come out with that <laughs> Which? Yeah, yeah, exactly. It was popular back that that old Hungarian team back in the nineteen twenties or something. You know, I just, oh, I'm throwing caution to the wind here. I, I'm going to outscore anyone I come up against. And Fernandinho is uh, is, is my 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 holding, and and then Eriksson is going to pass the ball and as as a quarterback kind of play it up. But uh, I can oh. see that none of you, neither of you, are enthused by this. So. <laughs> How do we sort this in? So it works and sit a bit deep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have him deep. Yeah, you just have him higher. Just because uh, uh, after what he did to Ireland, that that left a lasting scar on my mind. Yeah, and yeah. to leave him in that kind of role, it, I think I think it'd be interesting because I want to, I wanted to shoehorn Deli Ali in there as well. And, but anyway, look, we will get back to this. So on the left side, is a both Gomez Rose. So we'll go with that. Uh, on the right side, then who, who is it, lads? Is it going to be uh, Trippier or, or Walker? We're going with Trippier, are we? I think we'd go with. Oh, they're very, very close, but I'd probably go with Trippier. I think he's. I think he's done the better this season so far. All right, yeah, yeah Kieran Trippier. There you go. Late substitution <laughs> does the job. Let's have a look then at the middle. Uh, who have you gone for, Dan? Um, well, I've gone for Kevin De Bruyne because, as everyone knows, I love him. <laughs> yeah. And I've gone for Ericsson just behind the front two because I think he's a brilliant player. But the interesting one I've gone for, I thought about Fernandinho, and I've actually gone for Dembele really? because I think he's really stepped up this year at Spurs. I know he can't play three games. He won't play um, against Brighton because he can't play three games a week. But he is a um, he's superb in midfield. He he really has kicked on this season, and yeah, okay. So I haven't got like a, I mean this this team's pretty damn attacking, but. You know, um, it's it's like it's like Paddy said. You know, you got to throw caution to the wind. No, yeah, I'm a little bit worried. You haven't got a holding midfielder. Um, I think I, I su- lost I to push on a team as a back nine. Give you know, give me a break. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you that one. <laughs> uh, what have you gone for, then, Martin? Well, I've gone for 
Fernandinho holding in the centre because I just he's an all rounder. He's, he's so underrated. It's ridiculous. You know, he loves to go forward and, uh, and go backwards. He's very disciplined. He sort of just knows when to play the ball and when to keep hold of it. Um, and I really, really rate Fernandinho. And then just in the central of the three with Fernandinho, just pushing on slightly, Ericsson and De Bruyne. Um, no words for those two. Unbelievable. Yeah. So my yeah. So mine then with Fernandinho and Ericsson, we'll, we'll kind of, we'll, we'll, we'll go with yours as well. Um, so Dan, I think I think we're going to have to drop them, Bele. Okay. Okay. I'll let I'll let you have that one. All right, so. <laughs> I give us a rundown and just a reminder of who we have uh, so far. So if Hugo Lloris in goal, Eric Dyer, uh, Nicholas Adamendi and Jan Vertonghen make, um, are back. We have uh, Danny Rose and what's Trippier's first name? Kieran. Uh, Kieran. Ken, Kieran Trippier uh, on our wings and then in the centre we have Fernandinho and Kevin De Bruyne and Christian Eriksen. So here we go now. Here's the fun part. Uh, strikers, Dan. I've gone really controversial. I've not gone with Aguero. What? Um, sorry. Um, I've gone with Jesus, Gabriel Jesus and Harry Kane. Um, I don't think Aguero and Kane would work as partnership. And I think, I think that Jesus would be a better partner for Kane. You think it would be the whole Falklands all over again, <laughs> that type of thing, is it? <laughs> uh, maybe. No, I, I, I just think, um, I think Aguero and Kane are, are very similar sort of players in that, um, you know, <laughs> They're, they're both like the leading striker in the team, whereas I think Jesus would be more content to play as like second, would be more content to play second fiddle to Kane. I don't think Aguero would. I don't think you could play Aguero and Kane together. I just don't think it would work. And I think that Guardiola knows this because Aguero doesn't play in a two, he plays in a three. Whereas like Kane can play in a two with, um, Son or Lorente, I guess. So, and mm. I think Jesus is more suited to it as well. So that's my choice. I heard a dirty rumour that you did have Aguero in but changed it. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you hear this dirty rumour? <laughs> Martin, make, make a case then for, for Aguero. Uh, well, I don't need to make a case for Aguero. He's, one of, he's, he's probably the, one of the best strikers the Premier League has ever seen. Um, I agree with everything that Dan said. Um and I didn't really look into it that Kane and Aguero could potentially not really play together. Um, but just looking at the combined 11, two up front, you've just got to go for Aguero and Kane. They're just unbelievable players. And whether they can play together or not, I think it's irrelevant. Um, I think you've just got to pick the two best players um, up top. And Jesus is there or thereabouts, but, you know, give him another season and he may well may well squeeze in. But well, Okay then, so w- w- would, you drop, would you drop Kane for Jesus? For Jesus? I wouldn't drop anyone for Jesus, no. The other one that missed out, and I, I'm a bit, I, I, I couldn't shoehorn him in, was Raheem Sterling. Yeah, I, I have Sterling in, in my my my, my tree. Uh, oh really? Tree behind the strikers. But um, but I didn't pick Sterling because I don't think he works. I don't think he works in a, a three-five-two. Yeah, he needs to on the wing, doesn't he? Yeah, you need you need to play him um, either like. Um, in a 3-4, no, I don't even think he'd work in a 3-4-3. I think you have to play him in a 3 up front because you need him, like, right at the top, right at the top. Um, yeah. It's very tough because one player we've n- not even mentioned yet is Deli Alley. Um, um, I, I, I know I know Paddy picked him, but yeah. I think his form has been poor of late. <laughs> and Christian eriksen has been the better player, so, yeah. you know. I can't, I can't, I can't help but go with a uh, Ericsson person. Yeah, and to be honest, I, I only put Deli Ali in, Deli Ali in, because I was kind of <laughs> feeling a bit sorry for Spurs that they weren't getting enough love from me at all. So <laughs> I, I put him in, even though, but but yeah, definitely have to. Uh, I agree with you, Dan. His form has been has been muck. It's it's mad. I was listening to you know, I listened to loads of football podcasts, and I've heard on a couple of ones that uh, what people kind of hinting at. Uh, Stuff going on behind the scenes uh, in his personal life that's that's affected. Really? Yeah, no, that no. Wouldn't th- surprise me. Wouldn't surprise me. Um, he he's um, because his upbringing was rather tough, and uh, I mean, like for instance, he wears Delhi on the back of his shirt because he doesn't want his dad's name on his shirt. Mm. Yeah. So I I wouldn't be surprised if there's you know stuff going on behind the scenes you know in his personal life. I would wouldn't surprise me at all. He's just a young lad as well. People forget that too. 
You know, yeah, that's very true. Um, that's it's in, like what? What is he? Twenty what? Two on two. Twenty one, I think. 21, yeah, I think he's twenty one. Can you imagine the responsibilities he has compared to what? What we used to get up to twenty one year olds. <laughs> you know <laughs> I'd have been was, on the was, front page was, of the newspaper every fucking weekend. <laughs> yeah. I was getting drunk on Bacardi Breezes at that age. <laughs> you know. Bacardi Breezes. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> uh, what's the other ones? Hooch. Did you have Hooch in England? The bottles? Yeah, yeah that's, that's yeah, still going yeah. strong actually. That's evil stuff. You know, I think the my friend that's friend of mine was telling me they still sell it up in uh, Kendall. <laughs> <laughs> it must be a long time out of date though um, so yeah there's no Raheem Sterling no Delhi Ali uh, let me run through then the 11 uh, Dan I think I think I think we have to go with Aguero instead of Jesus he's just he's not around uh, long sorry no, you've been out, outvoted twice today um, so let, let me run through then the 11 that we've picked so Hugo Lloris Eric Dyer um and uh, Nicholas Otamendi Ad- Ad- and Jan Vertonghen make up our defence. We have uh, Danny Rose and I've forgotten his name again. Kieran Trippier as our uh, wing wing backs uh, in the centre then of midfield. We have Fernandinho uh, to his left, Kevin De Bruyne to his right, Christian Eriksen, and then up front we have uh, Kun Aguero and Harry Kane. All right, lads. So predictions: Who's going to win the match? Too early, too early, too early. I mean, both are playing tonight. Let's get tonight's games out of the way first. For for example, the Tongan plays and gets suspended. Tottenham are pretty stuffed. uh, Sent backs. Very true. I'd I'd, I'd be interested to see what the team Man City put out as well because I think they're going to have to rotate. Um, You know, they're struggling a bit at centre back as well. Um, company, you know, company's not going to be fit the do weekend. Do you think? No. Uh, do you think? I don't know. He might be back at the weekend. I don't know. Pep said yeah. he's definitely missing this week's this week's game against Swansea, but he said he might make the weekend. Do you think? Because uh, you know, I I I was given out about uh, Jose Mourinho not learning from uh, from uh, from what Southampton and West Ham had done against uh, uh, Man City. Okay, obviously none of them, neither of them won around, but but yeah. I think Poch- Pochettino will take a different approach. And, and we'll try and learn because, uh, he got, uh, he got walloped against, uh, or he got it totally wrong against, um, against Arsenal and he won't want, to, definitely won't want to repeat that. Otherwise, Spurs' the season is, you know, all but over in, in the league. I, think, yeah. I don't know. I think the problem for Spurs is that they, they enjoy playing football and coming forward, which I think City will love. Mm. Um, so they could exploit that, to be honest. Um, I mean, if you are going to push me for a prediction, I, I, I can't see anything else but a City home win. Mm. Uh, at the minute, but I think there'll be goals. Yeah, I, I, I'd be this, I, I'd be with uh, Martin at the moment, but again, like like I say, it's uh, it's it's one where I'd leave it at least till tomorrow. Um, before I'd actually really commit to anything, I, I think it's impossible to commit at the moment. Yeah. Until until tonight's games are out of the way, and we know if there's any further injuries or suspensions. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd leave it for now. Do we know if anyone else is on a yellow, apart from Vertonghen? Um, I can have a look. Um, I only know about Vertonghen um, because I read the uh, um, I read the Tottenham forum this morning. Okay, cool. Um, but there is um, if, if um, for those who are listening, if you go to uh, the English uh, FA site, the FA.com, uh, there's an upcoming suspensions page, so you can see uh, who's suspended. And who's awaiting suspension uh, for each league? Um, so awaiting suspension, first team, Premier League. No, it's not giving me anything, any information. It's, it's not helping me at all. Okay, which is great because uh, <laughs> I really needed that to show. Um, <laughs> ah, magic. Uh, look, don't worry, but right, lads. Look, we'll, we'll wrap up then. So, uh, Martin, can you tell uh, the listeners where they can find you on the internet? Yes, you can find me on Twitter at ProTips.en or my personal Twitter at ProTips.m and also on Facebook at ProTips.Martin, three separate words. Okay, Dan, you're up. Uh, ProTips.Dan uh, on Twitter or Facebook.com slash ProTips.Dan or will also uh, find me. Um, you can join us on our Facebook groups, just uh, come to ProTips to UK's uh, uh, Facebook page, Pro Tips, sorry, yeah, it's Pro Tips, uh, Facebook.com slash Pro Tips to UK, and you can see the uh, Facebook groups that we have. We talk about all different kinds of uh, matches and tips and predictions. You can ask us what we think. 
Might not always be able to tell you the answer, but we'll try. We'll try. Good stuff. And you can follow me, of course, on Twitter, on Pro Tipster IRL. Right then, lads, that's it. Thanks for listening to another uh, Pro Tipster Combined 11. We'll be back tomorrow with two more podcasts, a video podcast and an audio podcast tomorrow night. Uh, make sure and check out protipster.com where you can, where you can earn real money by sharing your winning football tips and subscribe to us on iTunes or on Android podcatchers or po- podcast apps as I used to call them <laughs> and on uh, YouTube as well where you'll get uh, strategy videos, more podcasts, tips videos and sure loads of other stuff to help you become better at football betting as well. Okay then, so for me and the lads, good luck. Talk to you soon. Mm-hmm.